The left wants you to get in your feelings about things that have been said, but I want you guys to pay attention to what has been done. They don't want to talk policy. They just want to use propaganda to steal your vote. The left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. Sheesh. Oh my freaking gosh, okay? She absolutely goes scorched earth in this in this video. Like, literally torches Kamala Harris. Literally just a blur. Like, if this was Battleship, she just blew her out the water, okay? And I think it's pretty interesting because, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to pander t for the black vote. They're pandering to all these different communities. But, you know, uh, uh, white women for Kamala Harris, white men for Kamala Harris, black women for Kamala Harris. And then they're they're saying the black uh, female vote is is pushing Kamala and she's way over Trump. And then here you have this lady right here. Her I believe her name is Michaela Montgomery. Shout out to her in Atlanta native, if I'm not mistaken. And she goes absolutely scorched earth on Kamala Harris. Okay, so. We're going to get right into this. If you guys are new here to the channel, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate all your support. And welcome to the King Squad, the best reaction channel on YouTube where we keep it real and we spread that truth, okay? We keep it ultimately hellfire and brimstone out here. So that's what we do. And yeah, this is, this is absolutely shifting the tide of Kamala Harris right now. So Kamala Harris, look out. Let's go. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from mm. her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? Woo! I wonder if Mrs. Willie Brown, a black woman, is also with her. A few days ago, President Trump said he didn't know Vice President Harris was a black woman. I'm trying to figure out what all the outrage is about because she's only black when it's time to get elected. Dang. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, my mind is blown. I'm like, wow. And we're, we're just getting started. We're getting, we're just getting started and she's going in. She is going in. And this is huge. This is absolutely huge because everybody was saying on the left, oh yeah, we got the, the black female vote. And then they were shaming people, black people, specifically for not voting for Kamala because oh you you don't want to see a, a, the first black woman president I'm sitting here like she's not even black she's not even black I'm not and then I, I'm not going to just sit here and jump in for Kamala what has she done the last four years I'm sorry I'm sorry has your life gotten better with Kamala Harris being Joe Biden's VP under Biden's policies has your life gotten better Comment that down below. Was your life better under Trump or under Biden? Comment that down below because I think they, these people need a reminder, okay? And I'm not talking about the people on the screen here. I'm talking about just the left in general and the independents still deciding which side they're going to lean towards, okay? And that's just that. Also, I just want to say shout out to all the amazing, awesome subscribers and supporters and all the amazing people that sit here and support the channel. You guys are the bomb.com. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Shout out to the King Squad. You guys are the bomb.com. And I hope everybody is having a great, blessed, and prosperous day. Okay? As always, if you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so more people can be exposed to the truth. Let's go. Did I lie? Mm. The same black people who are mad at Trump for being confused about her race, ethnicity, nationality, whatever, are seemingly forgetting that while you're touting her as a savior for black people, she identifies as an Asian woman. Sheesh. She chose her side and it wasn't ours. Ooh. When asked if she would ever do anything specifically for black people, she said no. Whereas Trump gave us the platinum plan, <laughs> which specifically uplifted the black community by increasing capital by, by almost $500 billion, creating 500,000 new black businesses, and would give black churches the ability to fight for federal resources for their communities. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And in case you need a reminder, Trump 2024. Like the video if you're in favor of Trump 2024. Okay, Trump 2024, Trump Nation, all the way. Let's go. 
acting like strong borders aren't a thing literally everywhere else in the world. Since when has being patriotic been a crime? See, a few weeks ago at the debate, Trump mentioned black jobs, and a lot of people got in an uproar as if they didn't know what he meant. Well, we go to the polls and cast our black vote. We go to the stores and spend our black dollar. We live in our black community, but for whatever reason, we draw the line at a black job. Mm. <laughs> But wait, because if you're wondering what a black job is, please, I encourage you all to drive through Atlanta at all these beautiful black-owned businesses and check and see who works there. Probably a black person working for a black entrepreneur, recycling the black dollar, creating black generational wealth. Mm. She is absolutely torching Kamala Harris, okay? And if you can't see it, I don't know what to tell you. It's right here in front of your face. This stuff is huge absolutely huge and i definitely believe that this right here is an entire this is this is ch turning the tide right here okay because we already know kamala harris was on this sugar high she was over here in the honeymoon phase of you know oh kamala harris is the, the democrat nominee for president now and all that kind of stuff and oh yeah kamala harris just raised all this money we all know that that was just the people that were waiting for biden to step down OK, and then, oh, yeah, we just raised a 80 million. Now it's 100 million. And black women just donated all this money to Kamala Harris. And then we're acting like she's the best thing since sliced bread. And that's not the case. That is not the case. OK, <clears throat> excuse me. Definitely not the case. And here and here and then and then they tried to scrub Trump being shot. OK, I don't know if you guys caught that. Comment down below if you caught that. I definitely saw that. OK, oh, yeah, we're going to just have Biden step down and swap Biden out with Kamala Harris and then, and then just try to run the black first female president, first black female president, even though she's not black, uh, uh, all the way to, for the last three months till the election. As if we're stupid. As if we don't see this. No, we see it. We see it in 4K. <laughs> we see it, okay? come here illegally and they're taking your jobs and your resources then please believe my cousins in the Appalachians they coming for you too <laughs> and y'all know Kamala Harris has yet to say Lake and Riley's name as borders are she opened the border to millions of illegal immigrants that have flooded American streets with deadly drugs and gangs that have spiked overdoses by over 124 percent and brought more crime into commu uh, excuse me minority communities so how's that <clears throat> for black folks? Wow. But let's take race out of it. Just as a woman, period. How can you be a champion for women's rights when you're taking away opportunities from biological women and giving them to transgendered ones? And I'm just going to interject and add on. That's the result of feminism, okay, right there, which they heavily push in the left. Um, and it's just... It's just wild, okay? It's it's a wild time to be alive, and and then and then, you know what? I'll save the rest of my words for the rest of the video. Let's go, let's go. Mm. I'll wait. Trump twenty twenty four. Y'all, because I wasn't done. See, how can you promote equity for women, and you're allowing men to play in women's sports? Mm. What kind of feminist would still allow men to enter their sacred spaces, i.e. our bathrooms and school locker rooms? Do I even need to mention the opening ceremony at the Olympics? Or the fact that Angela Carini was forced to fight a man and told us that she's never been punched so hard in her life? We cannot allow dangerous liberals who think things like this are okay into the White House. Because my daughter will not be fighting a man at her wrestling match. <laughs> and what I think both men and women can agree on is that national security is important. So who would y'all rather see lead us into war if it were so to happen? My silk press sister Kamala or the big dog Donald Trump?
I cannot get up here without mentioning my farmers, the backbone of this country. And aside from the Biden-Harris administration hurting you guys in ways we can't even comprehend by the rising uh, cost of everything, black farmers suffered even more due to the delays associated with the Inflation Reduction Act signed in 2022. Now, don't let the Biden-Harris administration fool you because they waited until the ninth hour to, dis uh, to sign off on disbursement as a last-minute attempt to garnish support. But why would they hurt the agricultural industry? Probably because they're looking forward to making more money in the pharmaceutical one. Mm. Wow, she took it there. She took it there. She took it there. Dag. I didn't think they were going to, I didn't think she was going to take it that far. She took it there. She took it there. I didn't think she was going to take it that far. And she took it to infinity and beyond. She is cooking these oxygen thieves out here. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Comment down below your thoughts. Mm. And speaking of pharmaceuticals, because I promise I'm going to wrap this up. When they bring up abortion and they talk about protecting your medical freedoms, don't be afraid to mention COVID. The Biden-Harris administration forced Americans to take an experimental vaccine and took away their jobs, their livelihoods, and their freedoms if they refused. Mm -hmm. Trump gave us a choice and Biden gave us a mandate. Woo! Dang. Hey, y'all, because I'm about to kill him with this one. So the next time the left wants to tell you that, hey, abortion is a right and you need to protect your medical freedoms, remember that they took those freedoms away from men and women the second they got in office and there's nothing stopping them from doing it again. <laughs> Drops Mike. <laughs> Drops Mike. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is absolutely insane. Kamala Harris is cooked, okay? Kamala Harris is cooked because people are going to see this, okay? And, and they're already seeing it, okay? This is the biggest thing on the entire internet right now, okay? People are seeing this, and then the people who are sitting there questioning, hmm, I was, you know, I was already looking into Trump and everything like that, and then they see this, and they're like, mm, wow, I mean, she does have a point, and then for every, for the black females, uh, the black female vote right there for black women. Okay. You're seeing a black woman on stage for Trump. They're trying to pander to black woman, women with Kamala Harris, and she's not even black. Okay. Granted, she is a person of color. She's not black. All right. But then you have a real black woman on stage shouting out the big dog, Donald Trump. I mean, what more? What what more do they need to see? What what more? Okay, the man literally does not have to be president. L man literally got shot in the ear, lost a chunk of his ear. They tried to scrub that out the media with uh, Kamala Harris being the first female president, the first black female president, the first black woman uh, that can th to run the country and all that kind of stuff. Literally trying to sweep Donald Trump under the rug, and then. It all just continuously, continuously backfires. This is why I said that this whole honeymoon phase that Kamala Harris had uh, when she first stepped onto the scene as far as like, you know, being a presidential nominee and all that is short lived. It's short lived. OK, it was a, it was nothing but a high. All right. And it's and it's coming down now. All right. And rightfully so at that. So. Really some beautiful stuff to see. We are witnessing history. So this stuff is absolutely amazing. And I'm glad you're here to witness it with us. Okay. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate your support. And shout out to the King Squad. You guys are the bomb.com. And I hope you're having a great and blessed day. Let's continue on. Clock it. Mm. So lastly, again, I'm going to encourage you all to vote based on the facts and not feelings. Oh, he made me feel so bad when he said that. Okay, but they hurt your families when they sent all your tax dollars overseas. Woo! Oh, it hurts my feelings when he acts like that. Okay, but it hurts all of us. 
when you see an administration failing their country that they were elected to represent. In which case, I'm going to leave y'all with, hey, mama, daddy, I made it. Woo. <laughs> girl Amaya is somewhere in here so we can all say hey Amaya in unison because she's the real superstar y'all wow wow this is why I say we're we're witnessing history okay this stuff is huge okay this stuff is absolutely huge and they're pushing uh oh yeah Trump like okay I'll, I'll speak from my own perspective like how do I say this I'm speaking from what I came out of. That's what I, that's what I'm saying, stating right here, right now, right? So, when I was a Democrat, I came out of a Democratic family and all that. Okay, I grew up thinking Trump was racist, and I was excited that Obama was in office. And oh snap! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Obama is the first. They turned the White House into the Black House. I remember when they were saying that. <laughs> that was huge, okay? And then uh, when Trump started, uh, Trump jumped on the scene, he was running, and then they were making rap songs and all these hashtags on uh, uh, screw Donald Trump and this, is that, and the third. I'm not stating that. I'm just saying what I recall. And it was just, it was an absolutely just crap show, okay? And then, and then Trump gets into office, and then life gets better, but they're still bashing him. I, I remember being confused, but I have some of the best memories of my life when Trump was in office. And then when he gets out, I'm like, I just entered Rumpelstiltskin land. Life got all difficult and hard. It's like thorns and weeds everywhere. I'm like, what the heck is this? Oh, oh, this is the Biden administration? Achoo! I, I then discovered I'm allergic to the Biden administration. I'm allergic to Biden's policies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was just insane. So... For them to sit here and say that, oh, yeah, Trump is racist and Trump Trump is a white supremacist and all this other nonsense and, and slop, okay, and this, this chicken box and static noise, radio noise and all that nonsense, okay, here you have an authentic black woman literally telling you Trump 2024, okay, Trump is the man with the plan, okay, Trump is who you want to lead this country back into uh, it's glory, okay? Trump is the one you want us that that will lead us to victory. That's 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 what we want, all right? Okay, to get this thing set straight, all right? And that's just what it is. Granted, it's going to take time, okay? But when we stand together and you we unite, okay? You can't you can't beat people who are united. It's just what it is, okay? And that's what they don't want us to be. They don't want us to be united. They want us to be divided so that so that they can pick us off one by one and destroy us community by community, gender by gender, race by race. They want to separate it when in reality we're in this thing together. And it's just what it is. So if you guys are new here, definitely be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate all your support and stay blessed. Have a great day and all that kind of stuff. Continue to make legal money as always. This is not financial advice. Drink your water, take a walk. You woke up this morning and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.